Hey guys, Desol back in the Nerd Cave with part two of my boutique collection video series. I'll leave a link in the description below to part one, which is um, the Arrow video collection. So for this one, we're going to go through my Vinegar Syndrome collection, uh, which is probably one of the larger collections I have. Um, probably close to, if not more than my Scream Factory. I haven't really done the numbers yet. I guess we'll find out once I get to Scream Factory. Um, this is a collection that has kind of really blown up in the last two years. Only started collecting, I think back in 2019 may have been the first pickup I got. And then during the pandemic, just, you know, with all their sales, just kind of blew up from there. So really fun to collect for. They just had their Valentine's Day sale, which is now over. Um, speaking of sales, just before we get into this video, uh, Scream Factory has their uh, Love is in the Scare sale going on right now. And Arrow Video also has a sale going on. I forget what it's called, but it's another kind of Valentine's Day themed sale. So we'll be picking up a couple items from Scream Factory. Anyway, let's jump into this. Uh, the way I organize my collection is by... Well, I'll just show you. Well, so some of the collection is, is off the shelf just because I want to show it for the video. Let me shut that off. So usually my VSAs um, are over there. Um, then I just have the collector's you know, limited edition slipcover in alphabetical order. Then I get to the Amaray... Uh, without the slipcover and then partner label so that's how i kind of split it up okay and we'll just jump right into it first we'll go into oh and box sets usually kind of hang out over there so all right let's jump into it first with the box sets i do have to say this is the second time i've filmed this i ran out of space about 20 some odd minutes into the last video, which was fun. So, okay, here we go. First up is, I think this may have been the first box that I ever picked up for Vinegar Syndrome. And it is Forgotten Jolly Volume 1. Really great artwork. And this is typical for their box sets. They all kind of, they're pretty much all the same. Some of them are a little different. But most of them are the same, and you know, the, the top comes off. I'll just do this for this one. And you have some additional artwork there. And then you have the movies. Yes, I haven't watched them yet. In there. So this has three movies. Here are the movies in this one. So that is volume one. And this has been... Oops. This has been out of print for quite a while, but they do sell them in an Amore with all three films. And I think that's the same for this one. This is Forgotten Jolly Volume 2. Here are the movies in this one. And there's some artwork there. And then, of course, we have... Volume 3. This one might still be in stock. I'm not sure. Maybe this just went out of stock. I really don't know. I know they have a Volume 4 and I believe a Volume 5, which I have not gotten yet. Here are the movies in this one. And the artwork. And those are the... Uh, Forgotten Jolly, uh, Volumes 1 through 3. And again, I'll probably pick up the other two volumes, hopefully before they go out of print. Next one up is another one that unfortunately is out of print, but you can buy these movies individually on the site. So let's fix my camera. Okay. And it is the Amityville Cursed Collection. Again, really nice box set. I love that it's the the house. In the back of the house. And here are the films. And again, if you 
weren't able to pick up the box that you can get these individually. And the artwork inside. All right, next one up. And this one opens up a little differently. And this is the Angel Collection. Again, I believe this box set is out of print, uh, but you can buy these films individually as well. And then with these, instead of opening from the top, it opens like this on the side with some additional artwork and the movies. I like the way they do this. People complain a little bit that doesn't line up. Doesn't bother me. Lines up there, though. And last up is Televised Terror, Volume 1. And here are the films. too close here. Let me back up the camera. Here we go. And there are my box sets. Now there are a couple others that I I think I would categorize as box sets as well. I'll just show you very quickly. This is a two film set and it's Scanner Cop. The Scanner Cop series. And then you have the two films inside which you can now buy separately. I don't think it comes with these specific slips. I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that, but they do. Um, you can buy these separately now. And these are 4K editions. Next one up is just one movie, but two different versions. The next two are actually like that. And this is Flesh for Frankenstein. Really nice box on this one. I'm just putting this with the box sets only because it does have two films in here. Same movie, but just two copies. Really nice artwork on that. And then you have the two movies. You just have the 4K version here. And the 3D. This is a good companion piece to the um, Severn release of Blood for Dracula, I think it's called. Right? Okay. And last but not least, this is another one that it's one film, two different versions. And you can pick up one of these versions. This is sold out now. You can pick up one of these virgin versions if you don't have the set. And it's Thriller, A Cruel Picture. And it comes with the two sets here. It comes with the 4K, which you can buy now separately. And here's the one that only comes with this set. They call her One Eye, which is a different cut of the film. I actually didn't pick this up during, you know, when it first released. It went out of print pretty quickly. And luckily, I found this at a convention and was able to get that. So here are my Vinegar Syndrome bar, uh, box sets. All right, next up, we'll start with some of the sub-labels. Uh, first up is the VSA line, uh, Vinegar Syndrome Archive. Um, I believe these are movies that are kind of like ones that just haven't had wide releases. Maybe they were straight to video. I feel like a lot of their movies are. Um, I'm sometimes confused on how they decide what falls into which sub-label. Um, I know there are some people out there um, that think it's kind of more of a cash grab. I don't know if that's really the case. I don't think so. Um, 
I think people think that because as a subscriber, you don't get the sub labels. I'm not a, sus a subscriber. And I think a lot of these do kind of fit the mold in, in the different um, sub labels they have. Um, I just don't know why they pick what they pick or what falls under what. So that's the only thing. So I would love to know, you know, I'll probably do some research on that um, myself. But if you know in the comments below, that would be great. Um, this is a line that I did want to start trying to get a completionist set of which i've failed miserably at so let me show you the first one this is vsa number one and this is savage harbor and unlike the rest of the films i keep these in numbered order not alphabetical so this is the first vsa release it's got two different posters this is, the, I guess, the um, another title for the movie, Death Feud. And they all come numbered. A lot of you know that already, of course. Sometimes you they do have sales where if these were um, out of stock, they'll have the blank numbered ones. Now, this is a run of 2,500. Once that 2,500 is up for, for all of these, really, once the run is done, they, they, don't, they don't press anymore. So you'd have to go to third-party sellers for a boatload of money. And that's the problem um, with why I can't be a completionist on this one. So this is a bottom loader, kind of similar to VHS. And I think that's what this is. These are like kind of big VHS releases or kind of straight to VHS releases. I'm not taking it all the way out just because these are notorious for being hard to put back in. So that's the first one. Savage Harbor. I do not have VSA number two. Um, that is where I kind of lost it, like immediately. Um, it's Evil Town. I would love to get in that movie, but it's like stupid expensive on eBay right now. I'm not paying 150, 200, 250, whatever it goes for. I'm not paying that much for a kind of not great film. Um, you know, I I mean that in a good way. A lot of these films are not good, but they're they're like so bad they're good. And that's a, the nice thing about Vinegar Syndrome, how they um put a lot of you know put a lot of attention into these types of films that would otherwise kind of just be lost so i i did not get that i learned pretty i learned the hard way when i was a rookie uh, collecting vinegar syndrome that i had evil town in my cart it was like the blank numbered edition and i waited too long i finished buying everything i wanted to and it was gone by the time i checked out so just no just just a tip there's something that's going to be out of print pretty quickly or there's, you know, they're re-releasing something. You want to buy it, go on their site, buy that one item and check out and then go back in and add everything else back to that initial sale. So you don't have to pay extra shipping. That's a good thing about Vinegar Syndrome. Anyway, next up, Vice Academy 1 through 3. This is another one that went pretty quickly. Can't imagine why. And let's, I'll try to go through these quicker now. Next one up, Savage Dawn. Hell Riders. And you know, I was picking up these titles just to pick them up, just so I can have a complete, you know, I've always figured I'll find Evil Town one day. Dr. De Jekyll's Dungeon of Death. I didn't hear great things about this. And I wasn't going to pick this up, but this was going out of print. So I had to get it. And that's just kind of what I'm saying here. Like, I, I had to stop doing that. Um, I just had to. <laughs> and I didn't really like some of the movies that were coming out. You know, I think they're very focused on martial arts movies now. And they're cool and all, but I'm not, like, totally into martial arts movies. I'll get some of them. So I've, I've let a couple go at a print without getting them and it's actually kind of a relief it's like a weight off my chest i don't have to get them now if i find them in the wild for a good price or at a convention you know who's to say i won't pick them up there's la wars really great one actually this is a really fun one this is one that went out of print as most of these you know i'm gonna stop saying that most of these are out of print now um la wars if you missed out on it and you don't want to pay the stupid high prices for third-party sellers on eBay, which I have to admit, I've sold a couple things on eBay. Um, MVD 
released this um, about a year or so ago, so that might still be in stock. Next one up is Spellcaster. Necromancer, garbage movie, um, not in a good way. I was kind of hoping this would be good. She's been in a couple things, but I um, like a lot of B movies that are, are pretty fun to watch. This one was just kind of weird all over the place. Here's another one that went out of stock pretty quickly. You can never can tell like which ones will go out of stock faster than others. Sometimes they'll they'll hang around for for months, if not a year or so, and then out of nowhere they just sneak up on you and go, and then others are gone within a couple months. And here's Martial Law. It's a two-pack. Here's the second one. Here's the first one. Really great artwork on that release. Action USA, another one that's out of print pretty quickly. Um, I, found, I, I have found, I have found um, a couple of these in the wild at conventions for um, good price, good prices. Um, I've sold a couple on eBay. This is Action USA. Again, this is another one now that MVD has uh, in their, I think, MVD Rewind line. So if you missed it for Vinegar Syndrome, you can pick it up there. Next one up, The House of Usher. Another one that I heard, I haven't heard great things about. Like, I had to pick it up. So right here, I'm still kind of doing good. It's one... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So I have everything going good there. Thirteen. Creative Secrets. Alley Cat. Thirteen, fourteen. This is a great one. Release number 15, Champagne and Bullets, notoriously bad movie. Release number 16, Whatever It Takes, Andrew Dice Clay. And then this is release number 18. So I don't have 17. I think that went out of print very recently. Um, and I don't have anything after this. Tiger Claws. This is another one that went out of print. Like really fast. I got it after the fact um, at a convention. Sometimes Vinegar Syndrome, you know, when they're at these conventions, have some still that you can pick up. Or you can go to their um, their store in Connecticut, the archive, and sometimes they have them there. So that's my VSA collection. And again, I've I've kind of just not given up on them, but if I see a release that I like, I'll pick it up. I'll try to wait for the sale. It's burned me in the past because I've missed a couple of them, but like I said, kind of glad about it. Okay, next up is their VS. U line that's vinegar syndrome ultra and these are all 4ks with really nice box sets um there are i believe four or maybe five releases i only have three right now first one up and i was super excited when this came out i love this movie as a kid the beastmaster looks great on 4k really amazing artwork on this Got the magnetic clasp there. Then you got the movie. More artwork. I mean, it's insane. Really cool slip with more artwork. And then you got the film. And you got a really nice booklet with a ton of stuff. So, I'm not going to do an unboxing on every one of these, just wanted to show you as an example. Really great release. I was really excited for this line just after seeing this first one. 
Did not get the second release. I know it's still in stock. It's um, Six String Samurai. Didn't seem to be really excited for that movie. I watched the trailer. I didn't know if I'd like it. It looked like a really like cheesy 90s movie. I don't know if I like a lot of the cheesy 90s. So I didn't get it, but we'll see. Maybe I'll pick it up at a convention, or if the numbers go down, I'll be tempted to pick it up. Next one up, great 80s flick, Cloak and Dagger. And you start, you're starting to see Vinegar Syndrome really, you know, start to release these more mainstream films. These are, M, I think, MGM? No, Universal. It's a Universal release, which is cool to see. And again, really cool artwork there. Looks like an old school video game kind of floppy disk. God, I keep banging into the camera. Sorry, guys. Here we go. And next one up, really happy for this release. Another kind of mainstream movie. This is an MGM. There we go, release. And it's Roadhouse. No, I had to pick this up. This is 4K. I had the uh, Shout Factory edition. I had to get the upgrade on this. Really excited for that. And as you can see... All have the same boxes, really uniform, look really great. Really like this line. I'll probably get six string, six string Samurai, I don't know. Maybe the next sale. Next one up is another line. <clears throat> this is called VSP, or v Vinegar Syndrome Productions, I think. And they have a new line out now that I haven't picked up, and I'm forgetting what it's called, Um but I think they focus on kind of older movies or movies they say they typically wouldn't release, but that doesn't make sense to me because they release so many random movies, you know, horror, sci-fi, exploitation. I mean, it's, you know, the Picarama stuff. I mean, there's so many different things they release. So um, I, I think it, I think it focuses more on older movies. I think that's what it is. Anyway, first one up is New York Ninja. I have not watched this yet, but just the other night I read the booklet that's in here, and it's a really cool story of how they had these canisters of a movie that was never released, never edited, they lost the sound, and they actually recut the movie, made it made it into its, you know, into its own movie uh, based on what they had, got sound actors to to record the um audio and they really just kind of made a whole new movie out of what they were able to find. Really cool story. I don't always read the booklets in these things, but I actually did um, on this one because I knew there's a cool story behind it. So I would definitely check this out. I don't think they have this box set anymore, um, but you still can buy the film, I think just like the Amory version. But again, this is similar to the VSAs. I'm sorry, VSUs. Not 4K, though. It is a Blu-ray. Which now kind of gets to where things get a little confusing. This is also a VSP movie. And it's Sensor. And as you can see... Oh, this is a Blu-ray as well. But it comes in a different box, right? It comes in the side slip. All right, these are just the movies within the movie, which actually is pretty cool. So it comes in a side slip, which for some of us, I can imagine it's super annoying if you want to put this on the shelf and you want to do it by sub-label because now it doesn't fit. And I know there's another one. I think it's, I forget what it is, another VSP line that I don't even know has a side slip. I think it's just a slip. So they're kind of running all over the place with these. I don't know why. Um... But, you know, I wish they had consistency with this. Now, listen, I'm not knocking them on their packaging. Like, this packaging is awesome. This packaging is awesome. And you'll see this packaging in their normal kind of line also. So there really is, is no... I don't know if there's a rhyme or reason for it. I would love to know. But a lot of us like to have consistency on our shelves, right? So I know it's stupid. It should be about the movies... But 
Anyway, um, next up is the one DVD I have, and it's a Picarama movie. I don't know why I said it like that. I think it's Picarama. Got this really interesting kind of cardboard packaging on this. Got it at the archive for pretty cheap. And it's all night at the Pono. Kind of really old school adult ish movies um stuff you'd see on like 40 uh you know like 42nd street in times square in new york back in like the 70s kind of seedy kind of stuff pretty interesting just kind of uh kind of historical look on some of those kind of movies that are kind of tame now <laughs> if, you, if you compare it to the things that come out now so Anyway, so that is kind of everything I have in regards to my box sets, sub labels, and now I'm just going to jump into um, the collection. All right, so like I said, I have the collection in alphabetical order. I'm just going to pull um, sections of them from the shelf. I was going to just show them off the shelf, but there's a, a lot of glare. I do want to apologize ahead of time because a lot of these have the um, protectors on them. And the, the glare is just awful. So I think this may be just an easier way to do it. Try to go, the, go through these as quickly as possible. First one up, Alien from L.A. Recently picked this up on the uh, 10 for 10 sale. Next one up, All-American Murder. Antley's Meat Pies. The Bees. This is an old release with a new slipcover. I love how they do that. They release new slipcovers for the older releases that didn't have them. Berserker. Best Friends. Beware Children at Play. I believe this is a trauma release. Or trauma film. Um, Venus Syndrome does release a lot of those. I know the four, there's a 4K set coming out of uh, Toxic Avenger um, that I think the rumor was Vinegar Syndrome is doing the... Not the release. I think trauma is doing the release, but I think Vinegar Syndrome might be doing the scan, which is good news. Beyond Evil. I just kind of wish or hope that Vinegar Syndrome ends up releasing it because you know the packages packaging will be on point. I think Vinegar Syndrome, I'm sorry, Troma has only released one 4K so far. I think that was Trancers. Beyond the Door 3. Part 1 of that was released by Arrow, was it? I know they have Beyond the Door 2, which is also called Shock. Um, that was released by Arrow as well. Blades. Another pickup from the uh, 10 for 10 sale. Bloodbeat with the new Christmas slip. All right, and here the, here's the next stack. Blood Games. That's actually a really good one. The Caller. I did enjoy this. It's, it's kind of weird. Was not expecting the ending. <laughs> um, kind of did not predict it. That's all I'll say about that. Next one up, Candy Snatchers. Seller. Christmas Evil. Really love this slipcover. Corruption. Count Dracula's Great Love. 
which is okay. Creature. Let's see if I shut this off the glare. Maybe it won't be as bad. Cthulhu's Mansion. Curfew. That was another 10 for 10 pickup. Dead Heat. I don't think it matters. <clears throat> okay, so this actually is a 4K. Um, just remember that. That's a 4K with just a normal slipcover. Just pointing that out. I have a point. <laughs> Next one is Deadline. Deadly Games, dial code Santa Claus. Another 4K in a slip. And listen, I say that only because you have the the Ultra line, right? So I, I can get I get that. Like you you're saving the Ultra Line series for kind of these big time movies or you know, special um you know, maybe anticipated movies. Bigger releases, really, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. So I, I get that you're saving 4K movies for the Ultra line um, for, for that, you know, big releases, where you're going to have normal 4K releases, but it doesn't need to be these huge box sets. You've got to pay a premium every time you want to get that 4K. I totally understand that. But I'm, I'm getting to my point soon. Oh, that's it for this stack. Um, let's jump into the next one. Okay, next one up is Dimensionus Occultus. I probably butchered that. I know it's called something else. I don't really like taking it out of the uh, the protector. Really great release. Um, super excited when this came out. Drop Dead Fred. I think a couple different labels were supposed to release this as another universal title but at the end of the day thankfully vinegar syndrome picked it up another picarama release i don't know why i say it like that dracula sucks again these are like tame compared to the stuff that's out today dolly dearest chucky ripoff I remember watching this as a kid. Double feature of the Doll Squad and Mission Killfast. Oh, don't answer the phone. Demonoid. Death Promise. Don't go in the woods alone. Evils of the Night. With the Millennium Falcon, apparently. <laughs> Fate to Black. I know this had two different options for slip covers. I love the uh, original artwork. Post art, I had to get that one. The Fear. This is another 10 for 10 title. They had really good titles during that 10 for 10 sale. Flesh Eating Mothers. And Flesh Eater Revenge of the Living Dead. All right, I'm getting sick of pulling them off the shelf, so we're just going to go do it this way. Next one, Frat House. Frightmare. Graduation Day. Hard Rock Zombies. Slaughterhouse Rock. You know what? Nope, not doing it this way. 
the glare is pretty bad. Okay. Next up, hard soap disco lady. Yes, that is a Picarama release. Hellmaster. Hobgoblins with the new slip. The Immortalizer. Incredible Melting Man. That's another 4K release. Justine. Killer's Delight. Another 10 for 10. Killer Birds. I believe it's Zombie 4. Last Gasp. Another 10 for 10. A lot of the movies I kind of were on the fence about or had on my list to pick up eventually was on that 10 for 10, so I was super happy about that. Some VSAs that I missed out on. But again, I'm cool with that. Let my puppets come. So weird. The Lost Films of Herschel Gordon Lewis with the new slip. Lust in the Dust. Luther the Geek. Malabimba. Not flipping that over. If you have the movie, you know why. Malibu High. Another 10 for 10. Memorial Valley Massacre. And Miami Connection. I know this is a real, like, you know, this is another kind of anticipated release. And this is an example of this being a 4K. But not an ultra. But not in a, just a slip. But as in a also in a side slip, which you saw with right here. You see that with sensor, right? But now you have it on this release. And listen, it's a great release. Another anticipated release. Not sure why it wasn't a VSU. I don't know if it's a rights thing. I really don't know. You're going to see this again. Um, two other movies in my collection where it comes in this hard case side slip now listen i'm not knocking the packaging packaging is awesome i'm just kind of knocking the consistency should all 4ks come like that maybe you know um that's what i would think i would think all 4ks maybe should look like that i think that would be cool i think it would differentiate it from their regular releases i don't know anyway that's my little my one little gripe with the Vinegar Syndrome stuff, where I'm seeing that there is inconsistency in the amazing packages that they have. Packages? Packaging. Packages just sounds weird. All right, next stack. Man, this is tiring. Pulling all these from the shelves. And thank you for sticking around. We're almost at 40-minute mark. So I told you this is a big collection. My Severin Collection video will take probably 10 minutes, if not less. Next one up, Murder Weapon. It's a double feature. Murder Weapon, which is garbage, but is Linnea Quigley, and we all love her. And Deadly Embrace. I've not watched that one yet. Night Train to Terror. I actually enjoyed this one. Um, movies kind of just kind of mashed together, but I did enjoy it, uh, and there's a song in there that will get in your head. Another terrible in a Quigley film with an awesome slip, Nightmare Sisters.
Nightmare Weekend. Old Dracula. I tried watching this. I got like, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes into it. I kept falling asleep. We'll want to give it another shot, though. Olivia. Pale Blood. Pretty, uh, pretty good vampire flick. Pandemonium, really awesome slip. Watch this movie. So this is a movie I was really excited for when it was late. What is in here? Hold up. I had to take it out of the uh, protected covering for some reason. I don't know what the hell. Some sort of like dirt. I can't really see it. Some sort of dirt in there. Luckily, it didn't scratch this. Anyway, Pandemonium, a movie I remember watching back in the day on, like, USA, Up All Night. Pee Wee Herman's in it. Um, I don't know if it holds up or not. I tried watching it. I got halfway through it and fell asleep. <laughs> but, oh, man, all of these have, like, dirt or something. I take them all out. Sorry, guys. You know, I was putting a new shelf up, or a new section of the shelf up once, and I guarantee, like, some of the sawdust got in there. That is not cool. Sorry. Party line. Patty Hearst. Can you see that? I'll fix that later. Pledge Night. Psychic Killer. Public Affairs. Yes, some of their movies are seedy. Yes. But if they have a good slip cover, why not? Anyway, here's a cool one. This is <laughs> this is my very first Vinegar Syndrome pickup at a Monster Mania back in I think in 2018. I want to say, 2018, 2019, Splatter University. This was a recommendation by my brother-in-law, Jim, and I picked it up, and damn you, Jim, because now look at this collection. Ay. Red, this is, yes, this is a 4K, this is one of their earlier, I think, 4K releases. And the lenticular slip, and then the um, the foil artwork on the back. Reform schoolgirls, shocking. And rest in pieces. On to the next stack. Okay, we're nearing the end. There's only one more stack after this one. <laughs> so, Resurrection, another 10 for 10 pickup. Rush Week. Satan's Blood. Scared to Death. The severed arm. You're probably wondering why some of these have protectors and others don't. Laziness. Laziness is the answer. Silent Menace in 3D. Spookies. Steel and Lace. Sugar cookies. Surf two. Yeah. 
here is an amazing release that comes in a side slip. 4K release of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. I did have the Screen Factory version of this, but definitely had to upgrade. This is just an amazing release. Great artwork, another MGM release. Or film, I should say. And the embossing and gloss on that is just so cool. The chainsaw is embossed. The doorknob and lock is embossed. Really cool. And 4K release. You know, again, could this be an could this be an ultra release? I don't know. It's a side slip, hard box. This demands amazing packaging for this type of release. I just would love to know how do they differentiate it. Through the fire, 10 for 10. Another side slip 4K release, ticks. Like why ticks? Why does ticks get like this amazing release? I mean, this is a pretty good movie. Pretty good, um, pretty good bad 90s movie. But that's what they're known for, right? And this is the kind of release I look forward to, but. I'm not hating you, Vinegar Zenjum. I'm just asking, just wondering. Wonder Women. Witch Trap. Who done it? Almost to the end. Unmasked Part 25. Clearly, I screwed up the alphabetical order here. <laughs> and last one is trauma. Or trauma. Trauma? Trauma? Trauma. There you are, Argento. So here is the rest of my slip edition movies. Man, it is like a shit show in here. Every time I pause this video, I drop my camera. Movies fall over the place. Anyway, I lied to you. There's one more, one more very small stack of my partner label stuff after this. There's only like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven films um, for that. So here is just very quickly everything I have in Amaray. First up is the Five Films, Five Years, Volume 4, Horror and Exploitation. Uh, they came out with, I think, four volumes of this. Maybe five? Um, this is the only one I have. This is kind of around the time, just after the time I started collecting, and this is the only one that was still, um, I guess, available or in stock. Bloodhook. This is a coveted slip that you can now get. I think they re-released it um, for the rewards program. If you don't have the rewards program, I would suggest you sign up for it. I don't think you even need to sign up. I think you just have to have an account with vinegar syndrome china girl cutting class death machines death row game show grandmother's house i just burped excuse me if you heard that the hearse Ice Cream Man. Wish I had that slip. Another cool slip I don't have. Incubus. Although that is another re-release with the rewards program. I think it's like a thousand points. I think every dollar you spend you get a point. Jack Frost. Another slip um, that I don't have and that is not re-released. At least not yet. Mad Men. Um, Mad Man. I can't always really say Mad Men. Mad Men. Why is that hard to say? That's on 4K, which I don't have. Massage Parlor Murders. This was just released on 4K during the Valentine's Day sale. Matinee Doll. I know, I know. Dirty movies. Mausoleum. It is only... It is only the DVD. Yeah, I don't know why I have Anthony in there. DVD.
my chauffeur. Cycle Cop Returns. Prime Evil plus Lurkers. Raw Force, another slip I wish I had. That slip was still around when I first started collecting and not understanding how important, or not important, but how coveted those slips can become. Trip with the Teacher. That's another one where it's just the DVD. I think that was given to, donated by a friend who was just, at the time, who was just, I think, collecting the movies and getting rid because of space the DVDs, and some of the Amory's. Throat, okay. Leave me alone. Uninvited. And the Vineyard. Another slip I missed out on. I always thought it'd be around. And then one day it wasn't. Here are my Amory's. I'll just move this to the side. And we'll look at, right here, my partner label stuff. I don't have a lot of partner label stuff, so we'll quickly go through it. The Amityville Curse. I think this is part part four, the original part four, or maybe part five. It wasn't in the, um, the curse set. Donnie's Bar Mitzvah. This looks really funny. Love the slip on that one. The first VCR and Kazetsko Hi-Fi documentary. I mean, the sub alone is worth it. For Mad Men only. Girlfriend from Hell. I mean, this slip is amazing. Slash Dance. And Hollywood New Blood. And finally, oh, thank God, WNUF Halloween Special. Just watched this last Halloween. It is interesting. I, I, I appreciate what they did with that. Made it look like a real kind of news segment with fake commercials. But they weren't like funny fake commercials. You know, it's not like Amazon Women from the Moon or anything. That would have been awesome. It was just like, you know, commercials for like landscapers and plumbers and like actual commercials that were fake. Anyway, here are my partner labels. Okay, so I forgot two really important releases, something I wanted to show before um, we got into the slip releases. So, here we go, stupid camera. Okay, sorry. Anyway, first one up is Hell Comes to Frogtown. I keep these separately. I keep these like uh, on my shelf before the VSAs only because the packaging was kind of different, but now that they're doing these 4Ks with different packagings and science slips, I might just kind of throw this in, in, in with the um, alphabetical order. Just love this movie. It's a really good movie, too. Roddy Piper. Great slip. I remember I was at a Monster Mania convention, and they had the movie, and they're like, tomorrow morning, we're coming with a box of slips. It's the last of them. And we got, we got there early, and we picked it up. It was great. A couple years ago. Another one with a really unique slip at the time. Slaughterhouse. Side slip. With the movie. Kind of just falls. The only annoying part about this. But I can't believe I almost forgot about these two. Alright guys. So that's it. There is my Vinegar Syndrome collection. It was a lot. We're in 54 minutes in. Very long video. Here's some more stuff. Just kind of thrown on the ground. Let me know in the comments below, what does your Vinegar Syndrome um, collection look like? How many do you have? Um, I, I did a rough count of maybe over 150. I don't know. Do the count. Let me know. Someone count. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Next up will be my Scream Factory collection, which is pretty large itself. Some box sets there. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, see you guys in the Nerd Cave.